Hey everyone, I'm going to show you briefly how to add a whole bunch of appointments from an Excel data set into your Outlook calendar with some VBA code. So you can see we run the code, we add the appointments to the calendar, and bam, that's it. Okay, why do we even care about this? Why don't we just enter these manually? Well, you could, but it took me 45 seconds to do one, and 45 seconds times 22 records, that's about 16 and a half minutes. So if you're convinced using code is a good way to add these appointments, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we need is a data set of appointments, and here we have 22 appointments. Now we have the appointment name, and that's gonna go here as the subject. We're doing the same thing for the location. The meeting description is gonna go in the body here. And we're gonna also do sort of the same thing with the start date and time, uh, as well as the end date and time. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add all this into our Outlook calendar. Before we add the appointments, I just want to show you my calendar from May 26th to June 2nd, and there are no appointments there. This is the date range that we have from our data set, so just for reference. Alright, so this is our data right there, and this is what's going to get added to the calendar. So like before, I'm going to keep this video short by marking up the code with the comments, and I'm going to hit Alt and F11. We're going to put in the code here, and I'm just going to explain a few little things here. So uh, we're getting our data from sheet one and so we want to make sure that's right there and what we're doing is we're finding the last row that isn't null or the last row that has data in it so like you know row 30 is going to be blank because we have 22 rows of data okay and our first row is going to be our columns right there okay so we don't count that as an appointment uh, this is our data right here all right all right, so we're going to loop through each row and we're going to define, you know, what our subject is. That's in column A, our start date and start time. That's B and C respectively. Same for the end date and the end time. And we got our location. So that's like office B or conference room C or whatever. Body, that's what goes in the actual appointment. The body, this is the body right there. Okay, and location and subject. Um, Subject is the same thing in our case as appointment name, okay? Just to avoid any confusion there, all right? And reminder set, I always keep this true. I love when this thing pops up and tells me, hey, you have an appointment. Uh, it's just a good reminder, especially if you're busy. And this is the reminder time, so 15 minutes before the appointment. I love that, but if you don't like that, you can turn this to false if you want. Uh, or you can change this to 30 or 5 or whatever you want to do. Okay, and once everything works, you're going to get this message. Hey, it was added to Outlook successfully. So when you feel ready, go to run right here. Hit run sub. But before we do that, let's get one last look. Okay, so we got May 26th to June 2nd. It's all blank right there. You don't see any appointments. Let's go back here. We're going to hit run, run sub. Okay, we got our message. Let's take a look. Oh, we got those reminders. Yep, there we go. So let's just look at one to make sure everything got added properly. Let's look at team collaboration meeting. Okay, let's make sure this all got added. And so we'll go here. We'll go here. Okay, everything looks good to me. One more thing I want to add is if you're just doing this one time, this is fine. You can just close it. You don't even have to save it. You're done. If you think you might add more appointments, just go to save, save as, and you know, put your folder or whatever, but make sure you save this as a macro enabled workbook. Otherwise you might have some issues. So yeah, that's how you do it. This will save you a ton of time. It didn't take long to hit run sub. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, comment, like, all that stuff. I really appreciate your views and take care everyone.